Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of whoever the hell we're playing right now. Ronald, that was it. Ronald, Jeremiah, and his children, Broadpat, Huge Jacked Man, and Katie Plopkins. Yesterday, I floated some ideas for how the series is going to go, but I wanted you guys ready to vote on it to give me your feedback so that we could... So that I could really pick what we wanted, and, and we could kind of decide between ourselves what would be the best way to go forward here. And I've chosen my favorite suggestions, but some of which were absolutely incredible. I wish I had thought of myself so I could claim credit for them. So... I will put up on screen right now a list of the final things I decided on to throw into this series. So the first one, we're going to have three generations with a dynasty to try and make the borders as close to real life kingdoms as possible. So for example, right now we're playing in Northern India. I don't know the actual kingdom that is here, but I'll try and make that as close to the default CK2 or I guess HIP analog kingdom as possible. Our second one is actively to pursue reformation and nationalistic ideals, whatever will basically make our people and religion, so our culture and our religion, as powerful as possible, along with our dynasty. We want our dynasty to be the ruling and the most powerful in the area, but we need our people. We're doing it for the glory of our realm, after all. We're doing it for the glory of our nation, so we want to make them as powerful as possible as well. So if that involves reformation or bureaucracy or going for a different government type, maybe it would be beneficial to flip over to Merchant Republic rather than Feudal, for example, depending on our position. That's what we'll go for. And then finally, this one was kind of the trickiest. We will be randoming after our third character of the dynasty dies. So after, in theory, Broadpot's son dies, that is when we will random. Now, the, the rules for this one I'm, I'm going to keep... I think this is the thing that makes it really, really cool. We're going to random a ruler within diplomatic range... So that we can still be affected by our old dynasty's actions. And then our previous ruler of the dynasty, whoever takes on after our third character, becomes a lucky ruler. That way, within a couple of generations, we're already going to start painting the map with all of our various dynasties that we've played through this campaign. And I think the cool thing is, someone was a little bit worried. There was a comment yesterday from someone who said that in CK2, they get invested in the dynasties. And my counterpoint to that was, that's exactly why we're doing this series. Instead of it just being one dynasty, painting everything one color, we're going to very slowly and very carefully, and that's the reason why I'm going for Diplo range as well, so we still have interactions with our previous dynasties. We're going to, in theory, be doing that, but with multiple different dynasties. We're going to be fighting our previous dynasties. We're going to be seeing a one dynasty we're invested in, fighting another dynasty we're invested in, for example, over the, over the next few years, and sort of seeing how the political landscape unfolds from there. The only th reason I wanted to do diplomatic range is because if we're playing over here, if our next character random is up in Iceland, you know, we're probably never going to see these guys given we won't even interact with them. But with the limited diplo range and also randoming within that, we're going to still have to deal with this guy. So the more powerful we make him, the harder the series gets, which is absolutely not how CK2 plays normally, right? The longer you play as the dynasty, the more you paint the world, the more you change your kingdoms, the game gets just easier and easier and easier until you're the most stable empire in the world. <coughs> I'm hoping with this method, we'll have a consistent difficulty and it will hopefully be filled with a world filled with all of these really cool dynasties that we're coming up with, and I'll let you guys come up with naming schemes and everything else, of course. And we'll be landing our patron houses, and I'll open up some houses to the comment section as well, so that you guys will also hopefully see some of your own houses causing some trouble along with our previous dynasties. And I don't know how long the series is going to run for, but the longer we run it, in theory, the more interesting things we'll get, which is, again, kind of counter to the usual CK2 series. It's going to probably take a little bit of while up front here, though, to really get into things, to start painting things out and looking at our previous characters and building our world. So, of course, we have Ronald Jeremiah, and let's focus on the important things right now can this religion be reformed we can create a caliphate oh wow so we need a thousand piety and, and if we control three holy sites we can do that holy shit that's awesome so our goal for this character then very much becomes make our du jour borders which obviously different to what they would be in normal ck2 so i'll have to go and look at whatever the hip borders for this area are and then form the caliphate for our kingdom as well and have our guy as a religious ruler. That way, if we do run another ruler, if we're over here, for example, that's still going to be a big threat. This massive newly formed religion under the Jeremiah household steaming towards us. We have to be very careful. Okay, then. So, again, with this guy, we really need to start taking control of the other... The... Ooh, what is that? Court faction member? Uh... Oh, cool. So, if you're part of the same faction, you can go and speak with her. Oh, interesting. This is a mechanic added by HIP. And again, this is why I want to add HIP, because there's, like, so many other mechanics this adds that are going to be really, really cool, I think. Um, okay, okay. So let's go for, um, on you. Let's go for, let's see what that does. You arrange an audience. This even might be base game CK2. I honestly have no idea. Uh, you arrange an audience with Chief Des Jura of Ramagiri at Ramagiri to discuss the business of the glory faction. Let's hope things go well. 35% chance of things going well. 44% chance of it producing no results. We just kind of want to sway it to us a little bit. 
Sure enough, the discussions you have seem to go nowhere. The trip was pretty much a waste. Well, that's a bit shit. Um, fabricate a claim on the High Chiefdom. Why don't we back her as an ally? If she takes it, we can then take it from her after the chaos is kicked off. After, you know, her troops are weak, his troops are weak, etc., etc. That could be quite cool. Um, but of course, we do want to conquest some of our fellow ducal vassals as well. So what I might want to do is head down here instead and maybe conquest one of these guys. Oh, it has to be direct borders. Right, okay. What about outside of our round? What about like you, for example? 43 troops. You're just basically asking to be invaded by man. What have we got? Zero. Z zero? Zero? <laughs> um, uh, did we get... Oh, we went ready yesterday and got smashed, didn't we? Okay, okay. Here's the plan then. Um... Let's start training troops. Let's rebuild ourselves and let's go and conquer some of these more independent kind of defenseless nations. My daughter was born to Ronald and Chief Des Tri Tri Triccioni of Curla named Makin. No, you are called Gwarneth Paltron. Welcome. What's she like? Oh, she's actually pretty good. Comely, left-handed, bright and strong. Wow, she's insanely good. It's a shame that we've got uh, Agnatic because honestly with their designation, she would be fantastic for taking over from things here. Have our religious icons kind of readjusted? Have they gone for like that? No, 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 because obviously we've got things like that as well. Okay. Um, yeah, that is genuinely really cool. Okay, I would really like to name you my heir then. So we might see if we can flip over some of the... Uh, we might see if we can flip over the succession rules at some stage as well. You're an incredible educator. Let's also get you educated as well. That's my bad. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, and that explains why our armies went to shit. After the Battle of Asigar, it has been my duty to inform the families of fallen soldiers of their fate. We could potentially get Roth here. Oh, actually, it's guaranteed Roth. Gain stress, 15% chance of depressed as well. We just got Roth and stress. That's fantastic. Do we want to take Stubborn? Squirrel Ricardo is training us now to make us into a better warrior. We're already a pretty damn good warrior. Um, Is Stubborn any good? What's that, like stewardship? Stewardship, personal combat, vassal opinion, minus five. I don't think we want that. Let's ignore his advice. I mean, that might actively work against our education or, or our training, but we definitely don't want consent. We'll still be a bit more careful about things. We're not that desperate for personal combat, I think. Guru Ricardo wants us to talk at long length about strategy. That's for Gregarious, so of course we're going to try and go for that one. That's a real shame that we missed out. There was also an opportunity to potentially rank up in the society, which we'll take as soon as we can. How many troops have we got now? 137. What are you looking like? 322. Damn, they reinforced so much faster than us, and I assume we can't get any retinues right now either. Um... Maximum cap of We got a retinue cap of 92. We could hire some mercenaries with the money that we've got and just sort of bounce between these provinces, conquering as many as possible. Um, Legion of the Burning Sun, I feel like, is a little bit unnecessary. What are we looking at? So we got 541 gold. Um, I don't really want to spend too much here. But, like, these guys are not bad. Um, got a lot of cavalry, though. We don't really need so much cavalry. Just siege troops are really all we need here. They've got elephants. The Sardinian band have elephants. Done. Absolutely. Welcome aboard. Let's also raise our troops as well here. And then, wait. No, you fool. Have you ever played CK2 before? I haven't, apparently. Right. Declare war. Conquest him. And then we'll keep the mercenaries up as we bounce between provinces here. So, Ronald on the center. Is that really the leader of the mercenary band? The one of the reasons I wanted to hire a mercenary band as well was to try and get some good commanders. But, my God, they're bad. Oh, we can take on a squire. Um... We can't take on our heir as a squire, is that right? Certainly looks like that's the case. Um, oh, right, I forgot how good huge Jack Man was. Although he's got Burley and not strong, there's still an argument for picking our daughter instead. Okay, um, can we name our daughter as a squire? Then the one who got strong? No. How do we name a squire? Um, where are you? No, oh, maybe it's because we're leading troops. Okay, well let's wait till we stop war. Let's wait till we finish leading troops, and then we'll see if it's possible after that. I might pull my marshal off of organizing things to instead put him as a leader of these troops. Right. Gain content. Nope, we're alright. It's not really worth it. She wants 100 gold for trading. I could be persuaded. She's obviously quite good at that. Um, state stewards, stewardship plus 17%. Let's give her some funds. Why not? And then what we can do, that's added by the Great Trade League, by the way. What we should really do is also ask her to focus on profit. And then when she makes a lot of money, we can demand it back off of her. And if she dies, we'll obviously inherit the money back. Basically, the air will try and generate some money out of that. I don't even know if there's a chance to fail. She's apparently already bought a part of some potteries there so we'll see how that works out for her um chance of brave this is what we're after go to try and get rid of craven oh my god we need to try and uh we need to try and do as much training as possible in that case let's go for a duel so we've got a guy here with oh what is that oh my god it's that one again oh it's another one very similar to the to the other religion we saw hide hide keist martial plus one it's a plus one to everything health plus one so powerful high god name is the fertile mother and the evil god name is the smith of pain that's so good. 
Woman are entirely excluded from positions of power. It's very similar to the other one. It actually might be the one that we saw before. More importantly, it's got 80 personal combat. So, it's a bit of a risk, but we will give it a go. Um, just aim for the head. Always aim for the head. Oh, God. That's not good. Counter. Shit. Center. Going straight back to the barrel. Is that, is that what the man's doing? I assume he's trying to drink from the barrel. Damn it. Okay. Well, let's add our morale and Chris. Let's focus on the important things here rather than trying to rank up in a society we basically untrained for. Zealous. Oh, that's a real shame. We're getting kind of unlucky. Oh, that's pretty good, though. Okay, now we move in and finish him off. Uh, with regards to Shattered Retreat, it is a feature of HIP that you can't turn off. You can. I'd have to go in and edit the lure files. However, as it's an inherent design choice by the HIP dev team to make it a central part of the game, we'll stick with it. I personally don't like Shattered Retreat, but we are still playing with a decisive battle, so it's not going to be as bad as it usually tends to be. But in tiny little things like this, it's just going to be a massive pain in the ass. Oh, my God, I thought we completed the training mission, despite the fact we basically denied him with absolutely everything. But we have, however, gained a little bit of extra glory there. Very nice. Is that giving us anything else we can do now? Get into shape. We obviously want to buy a weapon as soon as possible, but nobody has any spare weapons. As time goes by, and obviously as AI generates more artifacts, they will eventually, we'll be able to buy some of those. Uh, so we're going to ignore it as advice to try and increase our personal combat, or we can try and gain Zealous. Obviously, I'm going to go for Zealous in that situation. Boom. Okay. Oh, we still got another county. My bad. Right, let's go and work this one out, too. Uh, don't really want to arbitrary. We could go for another rank up. Yikes. Ask for a jewel. 108. Oh, God, these guys are really strong. Wow, look at that one. Plus 22%, plus one to martial entry diplomacy stewardship. But that's even better still. Fucking look at this religion. Oh, but it can't be reformed. Oh, it can be reformed, but there is no religious head right now. Uh, they can have four wives. Women can have four consorts. They do not mind if they're really... This religion is hideously powerful. What the hell? There's no downside to it. Cannot demand conversion. That's it. Fairly weak rulers can prepare invasions. They can raid for down. It's all the best parts of like... So it's it's like almost a, a almost reformed Norse faith. It's got all the, the wives as well. Wow, that's crazy good. Holy shit. Seeing, I think we genuinely pulled kind of a short straw on our religion then. Although, granted, we can make ourselves a secular religious head without having to go through the rigmarole of reformation. Um, skip the dual engine. We're just going to get our ass handed to us either way. So I'm not even going to bother trying to fight that one. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. John, what is his name? Ronald Jeremy. I was going to call him John Jeremy, which is a much better name in hindsight. Take everyone we found prisoner. Execute them all and gain cruel. Do we want to be like the religious nut job character? We could, especially as we're trying to reform the faith. Pursuit, morale damage, intrigue. We lose diplomacy, we lose vassal opinion. None of this rubble deserves to live, but we'll take everybody prisoner and just ransom them back out after the fact. This guy's still going to be a landed ruler. I'm going to do that just to try and earn some funds to help pay off these mercenaries, which again, we are going to keep these guys... I was just about to say, we are going to keep these guys raised, and then I press the button that lowers them. Why did I do that? That's a great question. Perhaps I should see a doctor. Anyway, um... Oh God, what the fuck? Honestly... I'm lost for words. I'm as lost for words as you are there. That was that was some imp incredible feat of dexterity to press entirely the wrong button. Wait, we're the leader of the glory faction now? We do be. Excellent. Okay. Let's hold a glory faction meeting and then see what we can uh, see what we can push. Strengthen my position within the faction. Plan to rally support for the chief. Stir discontent. Hell yeah, brother. Denounce him before the assembled lords. 67% chance of it backfiring. Oh no. The mood of the glory factions were... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We did it. Some open dissent nonetheless soured the mood of the room a little. Such harsh truths are... Wait, what does that mean? The, the mood of the glory faction is worsened. Is that not what we were trying to do? So that means that we've so discontent towards the leech? Because if the glory faction is worsened in terms of their mood, surely that's a better thing for us because we were trying to make them dislike the leech. I have no idea. Anyway, we'll work that out as we go. That's not really a big deal right now. Okay, here's what we're going to do, right? Bear with me here. I'm going to hire a mercenary man, and this time I'm going to fucking keep them raised rather than immediately disbanding them. And then we're going to move them into position. And we're just going to try and pick apart as many of these smaller provinces as possible. Uh, Vent Desk Viking. I feel like uh, I feel like some of these societies may be conflicting. Well, I'll find out what the deal with that is. Don't worry. We're going to wait till we're about a day away. There we are. 29th of September. 24th of September. 28th of December. He actually did it. The madman. Okay. Declare war. And then... No, no, no. Don't, definitely do not send a gift. Conquest. We're going to land there. He's not going to have time to raise his troops. And then we can just sit here. And we literally cannot lose now. At the beginning of the war game, your enemy decides to do a strong punch. I have no idea what the correct answer to any of this is. Um, reinforce and strengthen the center. Uh, and then use cavalry to suppress the side flanks. She wants more money. What have you done with the money I gave you before? She's bought spices. Um, to be honest, that's not too bad. Sounds like she's done a little bit of okay trading there. She's bought spices for a century 100 gold. She is out of cash. I have nothing for you today. Shit, we lost. 
Lose 10 prestige and smash the table as well. Damn it. Oh, she sold it for 132. She actually did turn a profit. That's quite kind of impressive. Thank you very much, my friend. Right, let's see if we can ransom off some of these prisoners then. Banish her for nothing. Uh, wh What about you? Do you not want to be... Do you want to ransom back? Yo, we can sacrifice them. Oh my god, we can. Yes. Sacrifice the prisoners. Go, go, go. The priests drag Gr Gratsuta screaming to the top of the temple. They place her at the altar, slice her open with a ceremonial dagger. They tear out a still beating heart to the cheers of the crowd. Let the sacrifice appease you, almighty creator. I am appeased. Good work. Can we sacrifice this tiny child? Why not? Um, oh, we can't sacrifice members of our religion. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, this one, this tiny child we can sacrifice. Kicking and screaming, this seven-year-old child. No shit. Sacrifice the child to the almost creator. I assume then we can get Hemophon, Hemoark, Hemophiliac traits as well. Absolutely, we want to get those as soon as possible. The Bloodthirsty Lord. This is good. I'm already finding a nice niche for our character. Now, of course, we don't want to strengthen our liege too much. Because the more we get, obviously the stronger we get, the more powerful our leech is going to get through taxes, through being able to raise vassal troops, etc, etc. So we we'll want to be very careful that we aren't accidentally opening ourselves up to this. Although, hang on, what about some well-placed assassinations? It's Agnatic Open and he has no sons. Plot to kill. Ooh, we can't kill him off, unfortunately. Um, to be honest, we could probably just go for independence at this stage. He's got 584 men. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to actually assimilate him from the inside. Um... Can we maybe plot to fabricate a claim on the cattle? That couldn't hurt. Plot to fabricate a claim on the high chiefdom. Boom. And then we can just demand... We need 75%, don't we? Okay, yeah, got it. Um, are you up for joining my faction? Send him a gift. And then... Fight to plot. What's the chance? Opinion of him is... Uh, his base is like minus three. We need to... If we can swim a bit more, then he might be okay with it. He's a member of our court faction, so let's go and have a meeting with him. See if we can win him over. Uh... Oh, I was going to say, is this a court faction meeting? A group of robbers calling themselves the Band of Brothers have been brought before me. The long list of their crimes does not put them in a good light. So make them suffer before they die. Do such crimes will not go and punish game diligent for free? Move, remove slothful. Oh my god, our guy is, is, is being blessed by the light of his new religion. The bloodthirsty nature. It, it, it's awakening. Something stirring within him. Something deep and very untroubling. The trip was pretty much a waste, but we didn't lose any opinion. That's what's important there. Um, plot to embezzle. Yeah, honestly, fuck our liege. This guy, poor guy on every side. Bear in mind, we're going to have to put up with this when we become liege, though. So, let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. It's not all swings and roundabouts, unfortunately. Okay, what, what's our decision? Sorry. Oh, we can compose a book. Right, we can. 50 gold? Um, I want to use the mercenaries a little bit more. So, I'm not going to spend all of our gold quite yet. Because this guy, 924 men. Conquest of this one. Then we can take Chandari after that. Wait, why can't we? 50 piety. Oh, we need one more. Shit, we're going to have to pay the money, unfortunately. Ooh, so not only does he know what he's talking about, we can also try and get gr Brave. Flip from Craven to Brave is massive. Brave by itself is good, but the fact that we're also losing it and gaining something better, if we could pull that off, I'm going to keep training non-stop until we nail that, even though at some stage it is kind of diminishing returns, I will admit. Almost to glory, we actually succeeded. 50% chance of losing the trait Craven, 50% chance of improving fighting skills, please lose Craven. That's what we're here for. Failed. I mean, it's a chance to improve in personal combat, so I can't complain, really. But let's go for another duel, then. We've only got 54 still, but he's got 57. Right, this one we can actually try and win. He swings his weapon at you. Try to counter. Zero, one, shit. Um, aim for the head. Zero, three, counter. Two, three, okay, we're back in. Quick and simple. Center. Three, three. Okay, counter. That sucks. We got very close that time, though. Almost almost a slightly higher rank. And, of course, that comes with a whole bunch of new rewards and, and other decisions we can undertake as well. Damn it. Okay. What are you looking like again? Uh, we need a 50. That's it. We've got it now. Let's go for... Um, we take that one. Cut him off from his cattle. Then go into Chandari. Although, it make our... Kind of make our borders look hideous, wouldn't it? Which is a better province? Yeah, it is uh, Demoa. Let's go for Demoa, then. Declare war. Grab that one. And then just march on his capital to start off with. We don't want his... Uh, we want his troops to kind of get out of hand too much. Taught strategy with this guy. Not impressed. Damn it. I tried. I thought that one was probably the safest bet given that, you know, we're kind of a martial expert at this stage. Manuel has been captured. I'm so sorry, Manuel. Oh, this is cool. After many months of st studying the campaigns of Alexander the Great, whoever the hell that is, you've acquired many fascinating insights and gained a new wisdom on military matters. You realize the art of war might well be worth studying. One marshal, one stewardship. Fantastic. Not that we need any more marshal at this stage. I'll be completely honest with you. How are we looking in terms of gold? That's the only thing I'm concerned about right now. Minus seven gold per month. So we haven't got these mercenaries much longer. Um, I'm going to sack you because you are real just fucking complete trash. Okay. Boom. Let's stop this shit. Don't you dare siege my provinces down, you coward. Right. I'm going to assault this. Mainly because it's an incredibly safe assault. Right. Kill their troops. 
What are we going into? Like mountains? Hills. That's that's absolutely fine. Not a problem. 68%. Take the war goal. This will be done. Oh, I should have cancelled that before I left. That's all right, though. Hopefully, just taking this will be enough. Six gold left. Assault. Throw away the last of the mercenaries. 100%. Yeah, nice. We could use someone to train with. We absolutely could. Boom. Right, so... We've got a border right up to Chandera now. 827. We did get a bit, bit of cash out of that. Can we manage some of these prisoners out yet? Still got nothing. We might as well just banish you, to be honest. Um, we could borrow some money from moneylenders. $300 reduce. Lose 50 prestige. I'm going to do it to keep being as aggressive as possible during this early game. Before things start to... Uh, before things start to coalesce too much over here. I think that's absolutely the right choice. Okay. We need 50... Oh, shit. We need 50 piety. Ugh. All right, fine. We'll, we'll have to call it there for the for the time being, at least. Try and become a more pious man first. Ask for a jewel. Let's do it. 100. Oh, God. And he apparently worships the mighty Robin. It's clearly not much of a Robin. Nacelli and Faith is one based on the sense of touch. Oh, locking hands with each other. Don't do that. Coronavirus. Uh, Gilded Guide, the Lonesome and the Great Secret. Can be reformed. Naval maintenance is greatly reduced, and Amaral is determined by horispacy. Cool. Um... It's time. We'll try and duel him. We're going to get our ass handed to us again. But it's all good. It's all good training, isn't it? The greatest lesson is failure. Or we'll get killed horribly. Uh, one or the other. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Permanent minus one health. Shit. You are adversary fooled. It is now time to pay the price of your own experience. Dancing with death. Health. Permanent health minus one. That stacks with the stress that we've already got. So we are on what, like three health now? Oh, but we've got Powerful. Okay. We've we've used one of our Get Out of Jail free cards because of Powerful. Another one. Then we're in then we're in less health than a base CK2 character. Then if they keep stacking up, we'll be dead in no time. That's not great, seeing as that's like our, what, third jewel now? Fourth jewel? Shit, that's really bad. Um, quest some more training. Let's get into shape as well. That just gives 0.5 health. We might even, after we finish uh, military training, want to flip over to... We might want to flip over to War Focus instead. I thought that might be the safest option. By War Focus, I mean hunting. I realized what I said as someone was saying it. Um, okay, let's let's use the 50 gold. Write a book on the martial thing. I feel like it's a great idea. The, the earlier the better, especially if we're going to be this aggressive going forward. We're already looking pretty good. Obviously, we want to take this... Uh, I mean, whenever the plot can fire, we should just fire it. You know? If we get a really good... If we get a really good Spy Master, we actually might have enough War Score just to fire it straight off here. 57% bollocks. Come on. Should I put him in my capital? I actually have no idea. Let's talk strategy. Why not? Still try and win this guy over. How could he not? We're at 65%. We only need 10 more percent before we can fabricate this claim. Um, or at least attempt to fabricate the claim. Can we not also demand the install? Oh, when we get the claim, then we can demand the installation. Then we can just push for war and, and steamroll him. Because obviously we've got all these extra provinces right now. We have to hire a diplomat though. Because we have literally no valid candidates in our court whatsoever. There he is. Whoa. Grey Eminent, Silver Tongue, Strong, Master, Fucking Diplomat. Welcome. 26. Wow. Okay. Um, who was it we were swaying? Who was it? Who was it? Was it, was it this dude in our faction? Uh, yes, he is. Let's go and win these guys over. And with a guy like this, we absolutely can do it. Go and, go and spread the good word. What's the chance of that happening yearly? That's absolutely insane. 67% chance yearly. And only a 2.7% chance of, uh, of sabotaging relations. This is fantastic. I think we can absolutely... If we win everybody over, we're going to get ourselves installed as the Legion no time. Okay, what are we looking at? 27 pearls to come at. Finally. Finally, some good fucking food. Flail wildly. Oh, God. <laughs> um, counter? Are you fucking kidding me? Target their head. Target the center. Good. Parry. Aim for the head. We've done it. Quick and simple. No. Parry. Finally. After years, we've been promoted to the mighty rank of boar. We can hire warrior commanders. We can hire a warrior pilgrimage. More importantly, we can raise an army. Now, the warrior pilgrimage is what I'm really after here. This is going to be so, so important. Because we've got two of arguably the best leadership traits in CK2, that being organizer and inspiring leader. We can now go on a pilgrimage to basically upgrade those traits into a retrained but more powerful version. The warrior pilgrimage itself, though, is very, very dangerous. We can also hire warrior commanders, which can... Provide some really, really powerful benefits through those traits I was just talking about. So, this is fantastic. Ben Pot is your region. Let's head off. Let's see what we can find out there in the world. I did complete that. You're right. Um. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what's happening here. So, Marl, the creator of the uh, Orders of Chivalry and the Great Trade League, also put up a file on the workshop, which allows, which is like a tutorial society, which allows you to reskin things to 
to make your own society basically in a very simple way. It already has all the structure and all the things you need to do that. I have a feeling this person might have taken, for, for one of the mods that I've downloaded, might have taken that and then done some things with it without actually changing the trigger. So it might be overwriting what's already in the Auditor Chivalry. Something along those lines. I'll take a look at what's actually causing that. That's my, that's my theory right now. So on our pilgrimage, the day is coming to an end and you see that there's an inn not far. Upon entering, you see it's not frequented by the most civilized peasants and ruffians. Okay, start a bar fight. Is there a chance for us getting strong for that? Gain brawny, gain trained fighter, gain wounded, gain main, die. Hmm. Rent the hole and everybody out. 40%, 20% chance of greedy. 20% chance of proud, 20% of paranoid. All of those are good. We lose 50 gold, we gain 50 prestige. Done. All of those are good. There's also a chance of nothing happening, but I really hope we get... We got greedy. I will take greedy. The main text modifier plus 10%. I'll take it when there's no obviously way to... There's no real way to get gold. Obviously, we can't be getting tithes from collecting tax. We can't even collect tax. So, the slight extra just passive gold is fine. Won't add up to much now, but later on when we actually start developing things, hopefully as this character, we will. Perfect. My mission to this place, Lata Lat 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 has been a success. 20 more opinion is that. Fantastic. And then immediately fucks it up afterwards. With a, with a sub vassal, I should point out. So, not the important guy here. Stort strategy. Not impressed. I should really not use that with this guy. He clearly does not give a shit. Getting close to the night and you were preparing to sleep under the stars if it wasn't for this half-rotten shack you just found. Yet somehow it feels strange. Burn it to the ground. 22% chance again is zealous. 11% chance of arbitrary. 22% chance of paranoid, to be honest. I mean, the zealous and paranoid would be fantastic. Arbitrary is not good, but it's not necessarily too terrible either. Intrigue plus two. Spend the night inside. 5% chance of dying. There's also a chance of gaining some health. Possessed. Lose Craven. Gain trusting. Okay, um, this one, salvage something for leaving this chance of a massive amount of gold, 14% chance of dying, you know I gotta try it, we got gold, we actually got a good amount of gold too, very very nice, we can actually pay off our debt now which is fantastic, let's immediately do that because the last thing we want is to be swamped by that constantly, um, I'm gonna mark repay the loan as special interest, let's go for a proper payback, 450 gold, damn I forgot that we didn't have any skills like diplomacy or stewardship for actually paying that off in the cheaper way, that's all right, though. I think we'll I think we'll just accept that we're going to take a little bit of debt on there. We're home. 50% chance of losing Inspiring Leader and gaining Rousing Leader. 50% chance of losing Organizer and gaining Coordinators. So we get one of those. We will have to go on a second pilgrimage. We got the good one, though, in my opinion. Rousing Leader. 27.5% morale damage and morale defense. That's absurd. That's so, so powerful. Another Glory Faction meeting. Stir discontent towards him. Denounce him before the assembled lords. Oh, I made them more loyal. Okay, so I made them more loyal... And that improves the, the, the mood of glory faction. So my theory beforehand was true that if it worsens the mood, then it's a good thing. Although the, the event kind of framed it like we'd fucked up, but we actually did a good job. I only managed to make them loyal. loyal. That's, a, that's a little bit annoying, I will admit. Oh, wait. The glory faction is now opposed. I have no idea. I have absolutely no fucking clue. <laughs> the faction system might be a little bit broken from some of the other mods, but uh, seems a little strange anyway. We, can't just, we just got an 84% chance to kill the dude. Wait. Oh, we need three plot backers, don't we? Uh, it's, it's impossible then. We've got an impossible plot. So we've actually won that guy over. Instead, let's invite him to a plot to kill. See if we can uh, bump this guy off the old-fashioned way. They've got people who want to join. Oh, there's a lot of people who want to join. We just need a bit more cash now. So we can now duel to try and rank up again. Let's do it. Ask for the duel. We're going to be fighting this guy here who is somewhere um, amongst all of that stuff. He's apparently the merchant hag from Dark Souls 2. Um, what is this? The Gaz Oh, we saw this one yesterday. The Gazayan Faith. Hello. Infinite cycles and all that. Yeah, I remember the Fox of Fortunes. What's he got? 100 personal combat. Wow. Versus our 62. There's a chance. There's not much of a chance, but there's still a chance. Oh, shit. Aim for the head. Uh, jump attack. <gasps> Let's go big. Go big or go home. Extravagant. Parry. Fuck. We did better than I thought, though. I will admit, I didn't think we were going to score any points there. So to speed things up, I'm, I'm going to take... Yeah, I know this is a horrible idea. I'm going to borrow money. The money that we just sent away to bribe some people to join this plot. And let's just get this plot rolling. Because the sooner we do it, the, the more... The closer we get to being able to take control of everything. So we kill him. Then we kill him and his son. Then eventually it's just going to filter through the various dukes of the realm. Or the counts of the realm. So in theory, we will hopefully be able to grab this sooner rather than later. Um... You're a lot more tolerant than I thought, because we have the Wrath trait. Fantastic. Um, how strange. There we are. Well, we're trying to win this guy over a little bit. That's so weird. I don't know that would work on me. You're much more tolerable than I remember. Why have we now gained... Why have we lost all of these people in our plot? Were we in shape or something? Uh, I have no clue. I have no clue why now we've... 
We're over our domain size, sure, but we've always been over our domain size. And that won't piss off randomers. Why do people back stop backing things? Base reluctance. I wonder if they got asked to leave the plot. I wonder if they got caught or something like that. Well, no, because we'd have been caught as well. Ah, oh, they've stopped backing. That's so frustrating because we had the plot power we needed them for a second. That's the whole reason I took the bloody gold back out. Whatever. Ignore his advice. Let's focus on my man, Ronald Jeremiah, then. Let's go back on a warrior pilgrimage and become the greatest ruler, the greatest warrior. Even if we don't get to swallow everything up ourselves, we will be feared. Polan? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Almost to glory. More successful training. There's a 25% chance of losing. Oh, so we're, we're going to get something great here regardless. Either we lose Craven, we gain Just, we gain Ambitious, or we gain Trained Fighter. This is fantastic. No matter what we get, we got Just, which, to be honest, probably the harder one of those to get. We put us on the council. Wait, as his Chancellor did that say? What, with four diplomacy? Chancellor of Marienburg land. We're his fucking heir. We're his heir. 107%. Well, we're almost there. We're almost there. Just kill him dead. Okay, okay, okay. Hold, hold, hold. Don't, don't get carried away. We're not guaranteed. We're not guaranteed yet. But my god, we are very, very close. This is painfully close. Invite a spy. Let's see if we can get a really, really good entry character. You know what I asked for. I'm going to keep you around, but I'm actually a little bit offended that you didn't bother fucking turning up. I'm going to try and recruit some spies. See if we can get a good entry character as good as the diplomat we hired. Fingers crossed. We might be able to bump this guy off and become... And, and take it through... Through... I mean, murder, sabotage. Be known as the, the real sort of... Uh, what did they call him earlier? The bloodthirsty ruler. I think that's, that seems kind of appropriate. Charge him by yourself. Leave the travelers to battle or help the bandits. Let's take some gold. We lost just. Bollocks. <laughs> we did get a lot of cash out of it, though, so that's okay. Or at least we got some cash out of it there. The Great Trade War. That was fast. The blatant tax evasion of these brigands knows no bounds. Ever since the peasants banded together to rob us of our rightful land and save grown border every day, we're going to go to war against merchant republics to take back what is ours. I'm not going to do that. Really, we can't afford the gold. We can't afford the prestige. We're not in a powerful enough position. If we were a duke, I could potentially work with that. Oh, huge Chapman getting trained fighter already. Wait, is he a better fighter than us now? Huh. Okay. I mean, that's great. Don't get me wrong. That's actually really good. And he's willful. I've got high hopes for this kid. I think he genuinely could end up being very, very good. Should we try and salvage something before leaving again? Ooh, trusting. That's not what I wanted. That's the opposite of what I wanted. I wanted to lose Craven. Bollocks. We didn't even get any gold. Did we even get any gold out of that? I don't think we did. That's so annoying. Um, Some of the tailor. She wants some more clothes because of her pregnancy. Oh, cool. Um, can we also take another concubine? We've only got two there. Uh, She'll do. She's 14? Mm. <laughs> um. <laughs> Go for another spy. Oh, shit. 107% we've lost war score. Was he any good? I didn't even bother checking this time. Better. Actually, improvement. Okay, sagacious, elusive, shadow. We've got all the important traits here. Welcome. Spy network in the capital. It's only going to be a couple of percent. Time for the emperor to construct a gigantic mausoleum. Okay. Idea of an isolationist China. 146%. Come on. Just just kill him off. We shouldn't have really gone away. Not, not while we're this close. Hunt a big game. Yeah, let's do that. Chance of us gaining brawny. Chance of us losing Craven. That's the important thing here. Do it. Game wounded. We're getting so goddamn unlucky with these journeys. It's unreal. Our son, Stan Kesis, who is short. I'm going to call you then, as you are short. I'm going to call you... Uh, I'm going to call you Potor. Potor... 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 Potor Donklage. Potor Donklage. Welcome, Potor. I don't care about Gwaneth Poltron. Get out of here. And it comes to an end. We got absolutely rinsed on that. We didn't get anything good to show of it whatsoever. But we did, however, get Coordinator. Along with our other traits. Fantastic. 15% retreat as well. 30% movement speed. And right in mind, like I said... We've got Shattered Retreat enabled, so that is super, super valuable because it means we'll be able to chase down the Shattered Armies. More importantly, Movement Lock. That's that's a thing now. So with that, we can really, really run circles around our enemies. Get into shape again, just for the just for the little bit of opinion whatever else. Request Military Training, 141%. Come on. He's got to die soon, surely. A challenger has appeared. So when we rank up, just as we're challenging the higher ranks, they can also challenge us. 31. We've got 40, 42 because we're wounded in the stress. Bollocks. Um, bring me my sword. Aim for the head. Uh, jump attack. Boom. Extravagant. Shit. Parry. Nice. And then lunge. A. Nice work. Prestige is a very, very nice little bonus there too. Oh, so we can take a scry now. Obviously, Gwaneth Paltron, the strong daughter we will uh, we'll take on board. We need a new designated regent as well. We'll get for our spy master just so he likes us a little bit more. We should also send him a gift to ensure that he's working, you know, as optimally as he possibly can be here. Follow his advice. Chance of getting brave. 
Still nothing. God damn. We, we're going to get that eventually. 50% chance of Craven, 50% of Trained Fighter. Oh, we got Trained Fighter. Very cool. Okay, that's great. Another 20 personal combat. Kind of cancels out our wounded and stressed. God damn. I, I really hope that this goes away soon. Spend when we got wounded, we got stressed, and we've got the minus one health from Dancing with Death. It's minus three health overall. So we did get plus two from Powerful, so that's what, like minus four? Assuming we started with, oh, sorry, four health overall. Assuming we started with our regular CK2 health. It's risky, but we should, should be relatively safe for quite a long time. Uh, 114. This was a mistake. Oh, God, this was a horrible mistake. <gasps> he's beginning to believe. <gasps> oh, he's done it. What is the chance of that? One step closer to greatness. Fucking fantastic. I've never been afraid of a little hard work. Game 25 piety as well, so we can do a lot more conquest now. The madman's pulled it back. Ronald Master Jeweler. If anybody knew how to use a sword, it'd be Ronald Jeremiah. It's a slow start, but it's been a pretty strong start, I think. I think we've done a, a pretty decent job today of obviously getting a lot more land. We've, 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 I mean, quadrupled the size of our duchy. Our warrior train is going fantastic well. It's 26 marshal. We've upgraded both of our leadership traits. We've got many children, and all it takes is one plot, one swing of the knife to potentially get ourselves Duke of all of this glorious land right here. Look at this. All of that will be ours. All we got to do is kill off one dude. And that's, that's a massive amount of progress towards our borders. So, let's leave it there for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Again, if you've got any feedback, any other things you'd like to see me throw into this particular playthrough, leave a comment. And of course, we're, we're up for keeping it as malleable and, and then changing as many things as possible to make it the most inter interesting, entertaining, weird world that we could possibly throw together. A big thank you goes to our insane top tier level patrons for making the series and the channel possible in the first place. Shout out to Justin Wallace, Grimwolf, Baking Kitten, Iguana Squad, Nordstrus, Gogolus, Tyler McClam, Sarabi, Cyric313, Limpy George, Zazzy7011, Tom Terry18, Orcswolf, Fakuna Vasquez, and Roll2D1 Games. That confused the shit out of me then for a second. And of course, everyone else at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys. Thank you all for making the channel possible in the first place. A big thank you as well goes out to Smooth Octopus, Hajidamar, Shittle Dirt, Adam M, RKL, Layla, Emperor Caligula, Brittany Lee, Mr. Awesome, Kane GB, Socrates, Nikki Sticks, Volta, Jackson P, Hoopalia, and everyone else at Patreon as well. Thank you guys for your support. Don't forget, Patreon houses. Those are going to be key this time. And we'll dish out some random lucky ones as well to obviously keep things, uh, keep things as difficult as we possibly can, I think.